Hi, I'm Joe. As many of you know, my whole life I've always been skinny. Like, really skinny. And over the last several years, I've tried literally everything to try and get bigger. Every diet plan, every workout plan. Some stuff worked, and some really didn't. But now I'm here. Not the biggest guy in the world, but 30 kilos heavier than the guy on the left. You see, I know firsthand how hard it is to bulk up as a skinny guy. So in this video, I want to share with you everything that worked for me. This is my ultimate guide for skinny guys trying to bulk up. Okay, so this video is going to be split up into three parts. Diet, training, and other. Let's start with the most important, diet. We're skinny guys. We obviously need to gain weight. In order for us to do that, we need to be in a calorie surplus. But I know first time as a skinny guy, this is extremely hard. And the reason why is because one, we have the highest metabolism ever. And number two, our appetites suck. So while it's not easy, here are my best tips to get in the calories in. First, calorie dense meals, such as pesto pasta. This bowl of pesto pasta here has 1200 calories in. Imagine you get one of these down you every night. Burgers, Ben and Jerry's, even pizzas. Now, I know what you're probably thinking, Joe, surely I should get my calories from healthy, nutritious foods like chicken, rice, and broccoli. In an ideal world, yes, that'd be great. But I know how hard it is. I tried to bulk up the clean way, only healthy meals. But the problem with that is these foods aren't as calorie dense. So you need to eat higher volumes of them. And my appetite just couldn't do that. So I'm not saying don't eat healthy. I'm just saying don't restrict yourself. If you need a pizza to get the calories down you, eat a goddamn pizza. Tip number two for getting the calories in, liquid calories. This is a game changer. You see, drinking 1,000 calories is a hell of a lot easier than eating 1,000 calories. Let me introduce you to the phaser shake. This is a high calorie shake I made a couple years ago. It contains 1,000 calories. Here are the ingredients if you want to make it yourself. I created this shake a while back and honestly, it saved me. I just took it with me on the bus to school most days. But if I was ever not hungry and I needed calories in me, I just drank one of these shakes. Tip number three protein. This is obviously so important for the gym and a general rule of thumb is you want to be getting a gram of protein per pound of body weight. For example, I weigh 176 pounds now, so I want to get about 176 grams of protein in me a day. Okay, okay, we have the meals, we have the high calorie shakes, and we know how much protein to get in. But we still have the problem of having a shit appetite. I personally used to just chuck half my food in the bin because I got way too full up. So here's my tips to increase in your appetite. Tip number one, a very, very simple one, drink a lot of water. If you want to eat more, you need to train your stomach to expand. Drinking water does that. It expands the stomach, meaning you can physically get more food inside of you. Tip number two for increasing your appetite. Set a five minute timer. Now, let me explain. When you eat, most of the time you have distractions, such as your mobile phone, the TV, books, etc. This results in you eating your meal slower. The slower it is to eat, the more time the brain has to realize how much food it's consuming. And then it's gonna tell your body that it's full up. But if you cut out all your distractions and just purely focus on getting your meal down as fast as possible, you can eat more before your brain starts to realize that it's getting full. So for all your meals, put your headphones on, get a banging tune on, and then set a five minute timer. For those five minutes, you're focusing on nothing but purely getting the food in your body. This sounds weird, but honestly, it helped me massively. That's pretty much it for diet. If you do want some more ideas for high calorie foods, I've made tons of videos on it, and I'll leave the links to them in the description. Let's go on to training next. A common mistake I see guys do is they run something called the bro split. This is where you split your workouts into only one muscle group per session. For example, Monday chest, Tuesday back, Wednesday legs, Thursday shoulders, Friday arms. You see only one muscle group each session. And the reason this sucks is because it's restricting you to only training each muscle group only once a week. Compared to if you did something like a full body workout split three days a week, you'll train each muscle group three times in a week instead of just once. So if you're doing the bro split, please stop. Now, when you actually get into the gym, for your training, you want to be doing a lot of heavy compound lifts. You know, like squatting, benching, deadlifting, all of that sort of stuff. And then mixed with that, you also want to do a bit more lighter, hypertrophy stuff like bicep curling, tricep extensions, etc. For a complete beginner, I'd recommend the program I created. But if you want a free one, this program is amazing as well. It's a three day a week full body split, which we mentioned is great. And it prioritizes getting stronger on the big lifts. So a lot of squatting, benching, deadlifting, pressing, 
wheeling and rowing. And then at the end, it also has its isolation work, like bicep curls, face pulls, and don't be afraid to add exercises that you enjoy into the split. Now, without a doubt, the most important part about training is prioritizing something called progressive overload. Please research into this as it's so important and you'll make exponential gains. To put it simply, it's where you gradually increase the workload on your lifts. So every session you go in, you want to put more on the bar than you did the previous session. I'm, I'm going to leave a lot of links in the description to great videos explaining it fully, but please look at them. Now, finally, to conclude the training section, I want to speak about rest times. Don't think you need to have very short rest times to make better gains. That's not true at all. On your big compound lifts, like squatting, benching, deadlifting, you want to be having about three to five minutes between each set. And then for more lighter hypertrophy movements, like tricep extensions, for example, aim for about a minute between each set. Okay, finally, we're going to move on to the third topic, other. This is basically why I just go over some general tips. And we'll start with supplements. Unlike what you may think, supplements aren't necessary at all. But in some cases, they can help out a little bit. And these are the only supplements I'd recommend. Creatine, protein powder, protein bars, and for us skinny guys, a high quality weight gainer shake. A second general point is about sleep. Your diet can be perfect, your training can be phenomenal, and you can be taking all the supplements in the world. But this is completely useless if you aren't sleeping enough. My general rule of thumb is try and get at least eight hours a night. That is my conclusive guide to bulking up as a skinny guy. I really hope this video helped. Cheers for watching, guys. Thanks for watching the video. If you enjoyed, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit the like button and maybe also consider subscribing. And lastly, if you want to get any supplements like protein powder, creatine, pre-workout, head over to my protein, which is the first link in the description. Use my code Joe at checkout, which will save you 37% off your entire order. Not only is it the cheapest way to get supplements, but it also helps me out a ton. Cheers, guys.